I was infected with HIV within my marriage. I said, how long have you known? And he said, I don't know, Kim, over 10 years. Oh, wow. Why haven't we talked about this? Why didn't I know? I thought I planned out everything perfectly. I thought we crossed every T and dotted every I. If my husband would have shared with me his status prior to him becoming so sick, we could have really addressed this together. I think it would have showed him that my love for him was so much greater than a test or a disease that lived within his body. I hate that he felt alone. I found strength in breaking the silence and coming out and telling my story because I saw what it looked like as a secret. I didn't want HIV to take over me. If this is the, the card that I've been dealt, I want to have a hand in how it plays out. And I want it to play out well. If you just refuse to get tested, can you really say to yourself, have I done everything to be true to me? Have I been fair to my health? I just recently started meds in like July. And so now I'm undetectable. So I am so super excited about that. It's like, I don't know, like I just ran through the finish line and I was the first one. We have so far to go to reach people to break the stigma that surrounds HIV. When we stay quiet about it, it still remains an issue. And if we can address it and embrace it, then we don't have to be scared about it because we know exactly what we're dealing with. I've seen what HIV silent can do. And I saw how it just began to eat inside of him and who he was. And the man that I fell in love with wasn't the man that passed away. Mm -hmm. And that was just him keeping all of those feelings and that secret mm -hmm. inside of him to where it just ate it, ate it away. And I can't do that. Okay. I, I, I okay. cannot do that. I say that all the time. I have things to do. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I'm not about that life. I'm not about that life.